It is the night before the NFC Championship here in Seattle. The Green Bay Packers have landed last night. The media is still trickling in, and that includes ESPN's Packers beat reporter, Rob Domofsky. He's allowed us to let us pick his brain a little bit about this Packers-Seahawks matchup. Now, Rob, I know everything that we've all heard about, the 12th man. Is that actually going to be a factor for the Packers? They said that they're not even relying on verbal communication, just hand signals. You know, I actually thought, Lauren, that it was louder in Detroit this year than it was here in week one. Right before kickoff, I went, there's a little area in the press box here where the, the elevators are, and you can, it's sort of a little bit of an open air place. And it was loud. There's no question it was loud. But I feel like the domes and the indoor stadiums that they play in, you know, Detroit, they played in Minneapolis for years. Obviously, this year was different. I feel like those places are just as loud, if not louder. And when they said they didn't have any issues with it, you know, I'm not surprised. One thing the Packers have been preaching all week is fundamental football. But it seems to me like when they feel like their backs are up against a wall or when they feel like they're the underdogs, they play fancy football. They go for the onside right. kicks, two-point conversions, trick plays. Right. Do you think that Mike McCarthy has anything up his sleeve? Well, think about the New Orleans game. Uh, they were probably an underdog in that game, even though they were the better team down in New Orleans. They tried that play with Julius Peppers early in the game. He dropped the ball. They ended up only getting a field goal out of it. I think sometimes they outsmart themselves. Sometimes it works to their advantage. There's no question about it. But I think if you've got a good football team, which they have, obviously they wouldn't be in this position if they didn't have a good team. I think you just have to rely on your fundamental packages. Don't get too cute at this time of the year. Just play how you normally play. Do what got you here and hope that that's good enough. And the question everyone's been wondering about Aaron Rodgers. He's going to play, he says, no matter what. But how effective are the Packers without him? It almost seems to me like having a gun without any ammunition. It doesn't matter. You know, the calf injury we saw last week, that he can still function with it against that defense. The question is, can he function with it against a Seattle defense that is much faster, much stronger, much more powerful? Uh, he's got to get through the game. That's a, that's a given. I mean, they can't win the game without him. But I think they need him to be even better than he was in terms of mobility last week. He was fantastic accuracy, but he's got to be able to move around just a little bit more. And lastly here, final game prediction? Well, I, I had to do my prediction for ESPN.com on Wednesday, and I've seen nothing to change it. I picked 23-20 Seattle. I'm not saying the Packers can't win. I just think the smart bet right now is Seattle, but it would not shock me if they won the game. They're going to need a big game from somebody Maybe unexpected, you know, a Devontae Adams, a Richard Rogers, somebody like that. Awesome. Once again, that is ESPN's Packers beat reporter, Rob Domofsky. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thanks, Lauren.